Hi everyone, my name is Clint. And my name is Seth, and Clint and I are on the sales team here at Liberty Systems. And today, Clint and I are gonna be reviewing and taking a look at the JLT 6012 vehicle computer. And this may be a unit that you're not familiar with, uh, but it's very powerful and there's a lot of things that we really like about it. So we're gonna be doing a kind of a general overview of it. We're gonna hit on some of its key features and then talk about what some of the biggest use cases of where we've seen this being used the most. Mm -hmm. So Clint, would you kind of start us off and, and give us that overview of the 6012? Yeah, so uh, like you said, right, it's a, it's a vehicle mounted computer. So where we really see this device being used, it's gonna be mounted on some sort of forklift or vehicle, um, most likely using some sort of manufacturing facility, um, warehousing space. Um, but again, it's a full blown computer. So it does come with Windows 10 or 11, um, also with Android. So again, no matter what kind of software your requirements you have, um, it's gonna be able to kind of um, allow you to use it. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing maybe too, just to point on is just the overall screen size of the unit. So it has a really nice 12 inch um, screen. What's really nice about this screen is that it almost goes all the way to the end of the unit, which is, you know, just allows for that larger viewing area. Mm -hmm. um, it also has JLT's power touch display. So they market this as being an almost indestructible uh, screen, which when you feel it, you touch it, it's very responsive. But again, it is a very rugged uh, screen on there. Um, and then just another thing that made me note on too is that the, the IP rating on this device is 65. So mm -hmm. not only resistant to dust, also resistant to water. You can use it in a freezer. You can use it in a humid environment. It's gonna work for you no matter what. Yeah, um, in addition to that kind of rugged design you talked about, it has a solid state architecture. So what I mean by this is there's no dock, there's no external power supply. It's basically the unit with an integrated um, one cord assembly, so you have the unit itself and some kind of RAM mount for mounting it, and then that's really it. So there's no, and then internally there's no fans running, um, there's no ribbon wire or any other kind of moving parts. So this basically eliminates a lot of breakpoints that could possibly happen inside of there. Um, and that's why we see this unit oftentimes lasting eight to 10 plus years um, as far as the life cycle goes. And then in addition to that too, I'll add, um, it has dual band diversity antennas, which are extremely powerful and effective. So they have a really high gain, which allows it to connect to access points extremely well, and then also roam throughout the warehouse extremely well without losing any kind of um, connectivity there. Yeah, and I think just a good example of that is, is a lot of times customers will come to us and just say, hey, Clint, you know, or Seth, we have great, fantastic coverage with our laptops, but we can't get anything on our vehicle units. Um, that's because the laptop radio is a lot more powerful mm -hmm. than a lot of the other industry type vehicle computers. You don't have that issue with the JLT. Those wireless antennas really do a fantastic job. Yeah, absolutely. So that's kind of an overview of the unit itself. Clint, now let's kind of move into um, talking about some of the biggest use cases and where we've seen this device being used. Yeah, you know, like we've talked about or keep talking about, it's it's a rugged unit, right? So again, we really see this being used in those manufacturing spaces, those warehousing environments. Mm -hmm. um, again, whether it's freezer um, or ambient temperature, it doesn't matter. This unit can go all the way down to negative 22 degrees. Um, and again, because it has that solid state architecture, we don't have to worry about any kind of, you know, issues with condensation. You're able to go in and out of those environments without, without any issue. Um, and then another thing too, you know, again, those wireless antennas, they're great for roaming in those larger facilities, going in between racks, having those wireless antennas, um, they really do make a big difference when you're talking about the wireless performance. Mm -hmm. And in addition, I'll even add, uh, especially for SAP users with that 12 inch screen, um, it makes it really easy to use that interface. So if you're doing, you know, warehouse transactions on there, being able to really have a good viewing of your screen can be really nice and this device definitely makes that very easy for those SAP users. Um, in addition to that, a really unique thing is you can create your own golden image on the unit. So you can um, basically set up your Windows 10 or 11, whatever you're using to fit exactly what your organization needs. So this allows for really easy, large deployments on pushing out um, the setup to multiple devices. Um, so basically, you can strip down different features and applications on Windows that you don't really need, mm -hmm. free up more processing power to run that SAP on the unit. Yeah, and I think just like you kind of talked about a little bit too, what's really 
a really nice feature about that is, right, so when you buy new units or when you get a unit back from repair, it's coming preloaded with that operating system. So you can just basically pull out of the box, stick it back on a forklift, your vehicle, and you're ready to go. Exactly. Um, well, great. Well, that pretty much wraps up the conversation today, Seth. Um, thank you all for watching and listening. If you have any further questions on the JLT6012 um, or any devices for that matter, please reach out to Liberty Systems. We would love to have a conversation with you and help guide you on finding the best device for your organization.